Hello everyone. It's Friday, August 19th, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for me. I'll have this video posted in an hour or so. I'm not sure how long it'll be available though, because YouTube has started taking down videos that are critical of Sharia. A couple of weeks ago, YouTube removed our Sharia in the U.S. video from 2009. That was the video where Nabil asked a question about Islam at a booth that invited us to ask questions about Islam, only to find out that some Muslim security guards were all too happy to put us through a crash course in what it's like to be a second-class citizen. They gave us some excellent hands-on training. Their hands, not ours. The video had been on YouTube for more than two years and had been watched more than two million times, but apparently if you're a Christian and you get slapped around by Muslims for asking a question, YouTube's unofficial policy is that you should keep your mouth shut about it. You might offend people if you demand equal treatment in the United States. For those of you who haven't seen the video, as of right now, you can still watch it on YouTube. They deleted it from our page, but other people mirror our videos, so you can still probably find it. Last night, I received a message from YouTube saying that another video will soon be removed. The video is titled, Act 17 Enters the Dearborn Arab Festival Part 1. It's a video of Nabil and me walking through the festival, talking to the camera. We discuss things like free speech, Sharia, the gospel, and oppression under Islam. Guess these topics are now too risque for YouTube. So they'll be deleting the video in the next day or two. You can watch it until then though, and you can see that nothing in the video comes within a million miles of violating any of YouTube's rules, which means they're taking it down for some other reason. I wonder what that might be. Now, by calling out YouTube for its new pro-Sharia stance, I'm obviously sealing my YouTube fate. But as Ned used to say, if you're going to walk on thin ice, might as well dance. I imagine they'll be canceling my account very soon. In the meantime, I think it's important for the YouTube community to take action before YouTube becomes totally one-sided. For the past several years, YouTube has been something of a reflection of certain Western values in the West. Muslims are free to criticize other religions, other views, the government, and non-Muslims are free to criticize Islam and the Quran and Muhammad. That's the deal. There's no special class of beliefs that are exempt from criticism. Not my beliefs, not your beliefs. That's how our society works. And up until now, YouTube has done an excellent job making sure that people on opposite sides of various issues have the opportunity to discuss their views. But times are changing, my friends. You're still free to criticize atheism all you want. You can say horribly offensive things about the Bible. You can blast European governments or Israel or democracy. You can do all of that right there on YouTube. But don't you dare criticize a legal system that calls for the killing of apostates, the degradation of women, and the violent subjugation of unbelievers. Don't do it. The sad part is that by sacrificing Western values on the altar of political correctness, YouTube is actually enforcing Sharia. According to the U.S. Constitution, you can talk about Islam all you want. According to Sharia, criticizing Islam is unacceptable and illegal. YouTube's policies don't carry the force of law, of course, and they're free to do whatever they want with their own website. But the administrators are certainly doing their part to make the Internet just a little more Sharia compliant. It's obviously too late for me. I don't know if my account will still be up tomorrow. But I seriously doubt that YouTube is going to stop when my videos are gone. I think they're starting with me because I don't really have enough followers to cause problems for them when they delete my videos. So I suspect the more popular critics of Sharia are safe for now. But mark my words, if YouTube has jumped on the Islam is beyond criticism and anyone who says otherwise is a hate-filled bigot bandwagon, more videos and more accounts are about to come tumbling down. Bye-bye, Pat Condell. Hello, non-stop Justin Bieber. So if you'd like to keep YouTube from becoming Sharia Tube or Dimmy Tube or Jihad Tube, if you'd like to keep the open exchange of ideas going, if you'd like to keep the you in YouTube, I'd suggest voicing your opinion while you're still allowed, sending in some complaints, you can find contact info in the About section, and maybe looking into one of YouTube's competitors to host your videos. Hopefully, if YouTube gets enough feedback, they'll think twice the next time they're asked to shut down free speech to protect the delicate feelings of people who want to end all criticism of Islam. 
to my close to 7,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching these past couple of years. While you still have a chance, feel free to download any of our videos and put them on other sites. I'm not stingy with our material. And when you see that this video has been removed, be sure to look for me on LiveLeak. God bless you.